So I wasn't able to capture completely what our refrigerant was. We did drop down to about 300 PSI, so we're gonna use that number. And it doesn't matter as long as you guys get used to converting temperature to pressure. So this red gauge represents the high pressure side from the compressor all the way over to our metering device over here. So all this high pressure side, it didn't matter where I get it, but we had it hooked up right about here is before our filter dryer, so it's after the condensing coil. So we're at 300 PSI gauge. And again, that gauge number doesn't mean anything to me. We need to convert that to a saturated temperature. So we're gonna use our temperature pressure chart. So if we use our temperature pressure chart, we find PSIG and we're looking for 300. So we're gonna be over here. So if we see right about here, we're at 300, that converts to 96.2. So we're gonna circle that so we can see it. So at 300 PSI gauge, the refrigerant's condensing, changing your state from a vapor to a liquid at 62 or 96.2 degrees Fahrenheit. So the majority of this condensing coil is changing state from a vapor back to a liquid, rejecting tons of latent heat. But it's all gonna be the same temperature all the way through to this section, it's all gonna be the exact same temperature. That's where it's changing state. It's so important because it's rejecting tons and tons and tons of heat. So this condenser fan is pulling air from the sides, blowing it at the top. It's coming at the top a lot warmer. That's why we have this symbol here, drawing our fan. So the air is coming through and up to the top. So it's rejecting heat. All the heat that we absorbed inside, we're rejecting that heat now outside. All the evaporation and boiling inside is now the opposite, rejecting and changing state outside. Because we have the higher pressure, we condense or squeeze that refrigerant together like a sponge and we're squeezing the heat out of it. The refrigerant here, even if the air temperature stays the same at 80 degrees Fahrenheit, the temperature of our condenser at 96.2 is still gonna be warmer than the air temperature. So heat's going to leave the 92 degree refrigerant and go to the cooler 80 degree air. Second law of thermodynamics. Also with the extra amount of thin spacings and airflow, we're able to transfer heat very effectively. So in the high side gauge, it doesn't matter if the gauge port's here, 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 anywhere, it's only reading saturated temperature. It's happening right here in the middle of our condensing coil. That's key to remember. So our pressure doesn't do us any good. We want to convert that to a saturated temperature. That is key. We're going to have a boiling saturated temperature and a condensing saturated temperature. This pressure means nothing and there is no set pressure. We want to know where the refrigerant changing state at. So we're going to talk about if that number is good or bad a little bit later.